Good evening. Welcome to Public Test. We're your host, David Lawrence. And Mohamed Jazzy. Today's topic, multiculturalism. What is it about and how does it contribute to Australian society? Community. We have asked the public about multiculturalism, and here's what the public have to say. What is multiculturalism in your opinion? Uh, in my opinion, it's including all cultures and letting them um, be part of society and having, but keeping their culture and also respecting all the different cultures that yeah. we have in Australia. In your opinion, what is multiculturalism? Um, it's all about different religions, different countries, different um, people have different uh, ways of Like in this country, we have many different people and many different cultures, and I think it's good. In your opinion, what is multiculturalism? Uh, it means having people from all different backgrounds and places of origin living in the same area and all getting along with each other. And how has your community or culture contributed to multiculturalism in Australia? Well, I'm from Austria and I'm not sure if Austria contributes to anything, but obviously we're close to Germany and, you know, we, we have foods, we, we're known for good food and we're known for the Oktoberfest and the drinking, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> but, yeah, I think it's most likely food and maybe the easy going what the Germans have. Yeah. We have very strict uh, work ethics, we have very good products. Uh, we make in Germany, I think uh, Australia can benefit from that. So I think, yeah, maybe that's. How has your community or culture oh, you know. contributed to multiculturalism in Australia? Uh, well, my community, which might be my local area um, in Sydney, uh, well, we have a lot of multicultural days and events. Um, we have laws against being racist, so I guess that helps contribute to accepting other cultures. Um, yeah, I think the multicultural days will be different. Yeah, I know there's Italian festivals and um, Pacific Islander festivals and all sorts of different festivals, and accepting and learning about other cultures, and councils and governments actually promoting multicultural. How has your community or culture contributed to multicultural? Good way. Um, a lot of people are um, um, basically, um, you know, we've got mosques around. I'm Muslim myself, so we've got a lot of people uh, helping out in ways, restaurants, um, places for people to pray and whatnot when it comes to special um, events and stuff like that. Yeah, no. Uh, when did you move to Australia? Where were you from? I'm from Spain and I moved one year ago. One year ago? Oh. Do you think Australia is doing a good job in multiculturalism? Some things, yeah, and in another, I'm still doubting. <laughs> um, why have Why have you benefited from coming to Australia? Well, I met people from all over the world. I met different traditions, different things. So, uh, when did you or your family come to Australia? Um, I was working, and my family came here like in 1980s. Uh, last question. When did you or your family come to Australia? How have they been living here? Oh, I've been here. Family's been here all our lives. Oh. From out west. And, um, so, how do you think it benefits you living here? How does it benefit? Well, I think that it provides a You can live however you want, pretty much. In this particular, we do. When did you or your family come to Australia? I'm, ho I'm here by myself, so my family never came out here, yeah. and I'm here for 20 years now. Wow. Yeah. And, uh, well, thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Thanks very much for your time. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for your talk. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, nice to meet you, eh? Hey? Good boys. Okay, good luck. Thank you. Okay, take care. Lovely boys. Thank you for your time. We have with us today four guests. Mr. Joshua Don Prado the, from the Immigration Department, Mr. Monashi from Sydney FC, 
Mr. Sang Najem, a local politician from Rokda City Council, and Mr. Faith Fang, a senior detective from the police force. What were your thoughts on the video? Well, I thought the video was superb. It shows the public has very active views and they understand the concept of multiculturalism. I think this gives many foreigners, um, makes them feel more welcome. Thank you. And Malasha, what do you think? I find it very pleasing that the community learns what multiculturalism is. Thank you. Thanks to Sam and Malashi. Here we have a quote from the former Prime Minister of Australia, Ms. Julia Gillard, about her view on multiculturalism. Australia is a multicultural country. We sing Australians all because we are. Our country's story is the story of our people in this place. Australia has provided a new home and a chance for better life for millions of people. As a migrant, my family embraced the sense of opportunity and community that they found in Australia and the possibilities for the children that, is multi that, that this multicultural country has offered them. I commend the people of Australia to the Australian community. Mr. Delcado, what were your views on the quote from Julia Gillard? Okay. I really like how Julia Gillard stated that Syrian immigrant. Because that means that anyone, and I mean anyone, in the world can tell in Australia and start a new life. The fact that she said this was a multicultural country fits in with the fact that this country has more than a million people with sustainable life. She also mentions the fact that she is an opportunity. This Australia was an opportunity, an opportunity, because if you settle down here, you'll have little to no problem with the current state of Australia. Julia Gillard's family settled down here in Australia, and she is prime minister, and that is just one of the examples how successful you could be if you sell in Australia. Thank you. Now we face the Sydney FC footballer, Menashe. I have one question. How did multiculturalism affect sport? Multiculturalism is important in sport because it gives opportunities for all people regardless of race, colour, religion, age, physical ability or background. Multiculturalism in sport promotes social inclusion amongst the disadvantaged. The Australian Institute of Health and Welfare recently reported that participation in sports was shown to increase social inclusion as well as decrease social exclusion. Thanks, Manashi. I hope you smash Melbourne tomorrow night. Yep, we will. Mr. Najim, in your opinion, what are the effects of migration? Well, migration raises average incomes and increases the scale of the economy, generating wealth and employment for all Australians. We estimate that the continuation of the current migration program would increase Australian living standards by $21 million by the year 2021. Federal and state governments enjoy benefits from extra migrants because of the tax revenue they generate. However, state governments can be exposed to additional costs. These costs include education and healthcare. Skilled migrants are most beneficial to the federal budget because they pay more taxes, make less use of government services, and earn more money. Research shows that immigration does not cause unemployment. In fact, migrants create jobs by increasing demand for goods and services. Research also shows the ability of migrants to participate in the workforce increases the longer they live in Australia. Thank you. Now I turn to the senior detective fan from the New South Wales Police Force. My question to you is, do you think that crimes have increased because Australia welcomed people from different backgrounds and nationalities? background with radicalization of crimes. Current research sh shows no evidence that crimes have increased since their arrival of people from different backgrounds. Some overseas born groups have lower crime rates and have higher crime rates than an Australian born population. This does not mean that crime is linked to ethnicity. Overall the crime rate overseas born population has been lower than that of the Australian born population. Factors such as unemployment, education, socio-economic disadvantage and lack of access to services have more bearing and ethnicity on crime rates. That concludes our public test. I would like to thank Mr. Fifam, Mr. Sang Najim, Mr. Joshua Del Prado, and Mr. Manashu. We have been your hosts, Mohamed Jazzy and David Lawrence. Good night, Good Australia. Time. See you next week.
Well, I need to introduce her. No, no.